Hi everyone and welcome to this short video on how to insert a table of contents onto your Google web page. Well, have you ever had a situation where you have a web page with a lot of content on it and you just scroll down and you scroll down and you scroll down and it's hard to find everything on that page and maybe that's what you uh, need to do, but how can I get to it quickly? Well, we can insert a table of contents. So I need only to click on the item I want to go to. So here we go. I'll click on that. It'll take me right to that section of the web page. A handy little tool. Let's see how we can construct that. So let's dive over to my little sandbox here. And I've set up a web page where we have uh, headings. And I type those in there for a reason, just to get started here real quick. So I'll scroll on down. You can use uh, anything that you want in the way of an existing title or whatever title that you want, but you must, after that, turn them into, under format, a heading, H2 or H3 or H4. In this case, this particular one is H2, and we'll see why in just a moment. Down here, we have another heading style, a subheading one, and we just go to format and we select the heading of interest. And I do that on any of my titles throughout the page. Now, it doesn't have to be that. I'm just going to click down here and just type in uh, more content. And so whatever title you have on your page, you simply need to highlight it, go to Format, and select the item that you want. Well, once you have that done, you can now create a table of contents. Let's do that. I'm going to put my cursor right up here. I'm going to go to Insert, Table of Content. Table of Content window comes up and I can show the levels in that Table of Content however I wish. I'll start off with just the first level. It happens to be the H2 and I'll click and Save. Just like any other object, I can get back to my properties right here or I can align and I'll align this right with a little text wrap and I'll click on Save. So it automatically goes in there and finds those items that I've designated that H2 heading. And now I can quickly jump to that part of the page just by selecting it. Let's modify this just a little bit. I'm going to click on my Edit button and get to my Properties. And if I want to show more than one level or maybe all the levels that I have set up, all I have to do is change that, click on Save, and now it will show all the levels that I set up. And that's why I wanted to come in here and show you the heading one, subheading, and minor heading. You can see that it automatically will indent those for the reader as they come to your web page. Well, that's how you create a table of contents on a Google web page. Hope you found this video helpful. Have a good day.